Welcome to the YTN Summer Camp Special, Episode 2. I'm Sophia. And I'm Skye. What a tremendous broadcasting camp we have had this week. Sophia, what have you enjoyed most about the camp? I've loved making new friends and learning about all this cool tech stuff. What about you, Skye? Everything has been so much fun. We have done so many interesting and amazing things. And today we finish up as we have a great show for you. It's summertime, which means it is time for some fun in the sun. And the 4th of July is coming up. Everyone will be bringing out their fireworks and barbecues. To prepare us for the 4th of July, we have our cooking specialist here to make sure we know the best barbecue tips. Hi, I'm Abby Kaser. And I'm Matthew Manning. And today, we are here with the host, Mia Contreras, I, who is the host of the show Taste Buds. So tell us, Mia, what are we cooking up today? Well, guys, we are going to be making hamburgers and hot dogs. That sounds really good. That sounds great. OK, let's get started. So first, uh, <laughs> beef patties here. We're going to season them with uh, Salt, season salt, and pepper. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. Okay, just, just sprinkle it on. Yeah. Do you guys want to sprinkle it? I'll do it. <laughs> just sprinkle it. Thank you, Matthew. Abby, do you want to do the pepper? I don't pepper. I don't know. Okay. So you're just going to sprinkle it on just a little bit. Please, more than Abby. <laughs> so, more than Abby, okay. Don't follow what she done. There's she's more doing underneath them. I know. Okay. So now that we have them seasoned, I think they're <laughs> they're on the grill. What got you into cooking? Well, ever since I was little, oh gosh, um, I've been obsessed with helping my mom in the kitchen with uh, cooking, and that's what got my career started. So, Mia, yeah, what's your favorite dish to make? My favorite dish? Oh, uh, I would say like filet mignon because it's like super challenging, but also like really fun. I'm gonna flip that over. Oh shoot. Oh gosh. Um, so I'm gonna let those okay. cook. And so you know how we didn't season the other side because they're flipped over? So while you're cooking, you wanna season the other side too. Don't worry about oh that's a lot. <laughs> Don't worry about it getting on the grill, it's fine. So Matthew, you can do the black pepper if you want. So I feel like salt bait, like <laughs> salt bait. <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna let those cook for a little. And while we're doing that, I know so it's a good hot dog. Now we're gonna lay down our hot dogs. Let's do let's do two right now. Just see it. Okay, so we're gonna let those cook for a little. So Mia, how do you think these are gonna taste? Well, I, judging on my first experience, I think they're gonna be pretty good. I mean, it depends if they don't catch a fire. So yeah. <gasps> oh, yeah, I want, oh. yeah, so they should all be just about flip now. Okay. I'll do it. Thanks, Abby. You want to use the long tongs? Yeah. yeah. The long Sorry for being really annoying, Michael. No, that's okay. Those look good, right? Uh, we, like, before, like, I've had barbecue, but, like, that's about it. Like, we're so maturing. Okay. So, I'm going to put the buns down so they get nice and toasty. And, like, those are good. Here, Abby can lay down these. So you can do those and there we go. Yay. So now we're just gonna let them toast and after that we'll just put the burgers back on. But first you're gonna lay on your bottom patty or bun I mean. So take the patty, place it on the full small. Um I guess we we can add lettuce now. Add a small patch of lettuce. I know this is gonna be mine. You don't like lettuce. Oh well. Put that on top. Add this on here and there we go. It's a little burger. That's cute. Now Abby and Matthew are gonna be making hot dogs. Okay. So, so can I have generally you easy process? Uh, here we go. So you're just gonna open your bun like so. Add your hot dog, and then you can add whatever condiments you want, like ketchup, hot sauce. Um, I have mustard too. And uh, so we're gonna try our burgers now. Hopefully, Eat our hot dog. Hopefully it's not poison. So we're gonna. Mmm. <laughs> Not poison. Mine's actually cooked. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Oh, this is actually pretty good. Thanks for, joining, thanks for joining us on Taste Bud. I hope their tips and tricks help you to have the best barbecue ever. It was fun getting cooked things from all the campers. 
Another fun thing to do during the summer is to travel all over the world. I love to travel. I actually used to live in Hawaii, but now I can't decide where I want to go next. To help you make that decision, let's check in with our travel experts to see where everyone is going this summer. Hi, I'm Sophia Angelos, reporting for the YTN from the Bahamas, and today joining me is Sophia Fernandez in Rome. Thank you, Sophia, and today we will be discussing three of the top vacation spots around the globe. The first location is actually in the USA. A big city, also known as the Big Apple. You guessed it, New York. With all the spectacular musicals on Broadway, the fascinating history behind the Statue of Liberty, and all the cool modern food, New York is a great place to visit. Next, this place is famous for its beaches and exotic beauty. The Bahamas! Pack your bags and head over to the Bahamas, where the beaches not only have white sand and clear waves, but at Harbor Island, the sand is pink. Don't forget their amazing seafood. Oh, right. The last location is, drum roll please. Rome. Take a flight and discover the ancient ruins, Roman history, and taste the delicious Italian food. Thank you for joining us on the YTN. This has been the top places to travel for 2018. Now, let's go back to Abby and Jacqueline in the studio. Wow, welcome back from the Bahamas. Thanks. I think I might have to go with Rome. I'd love to look at all those ruins and ancient art, but New York is always exciting. And now, switching gears, the Santa Margarita baseball team has a great year ahead of them. Let's check in with our sports reporter, Connor, to see what is going on with the team. Hey YTN, this is Connor here with Garrett and we're at the Santa Margarita baseball camp and um, we're going to ask Garrett some questions. Um, how are you enjoying this camp? It's a lot of fun. Uh, we all enjoy coming out here to play ball, uh, get some hard work in. Have you made any new friends? I have. Uh, I've made a few over at third base. Uh, just a couple other people who are trying out for the position. All the guys are a lot of fun. Got it. Um, what positions do you play? Uh, I play third base, left field, and I pitch some too. Nice. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Back to the studio. Thanks, Connor. I can't wait to go watch some of the baseball games this year. Speaking of baseball games, the Major League Baseball season is in full swing. All-Star game is right around the corner, and then it's a race to the playoffs and the World Series. But before all of that, how about looking at some great plays? We now turn to our sports reporter, Reese, with his top 10 plays in the big league. Hello, I'm Reese Angelos, reporting for the YTN on top 10 baseball plays. Number 10, a wild pitch. The Yankees look to score, but the Orioles pitcher covers home plate and is able to get that out at home. Number nine, Cleveland at Seattle. The Cleveland batter hits a deep fly ball to left field. The left fielder is going to back and makes a great catch to rob the home run. Number eight, Cleveland and Baltimore. Line drive, the shortstop makes a great play and gets that at second. Number seven, Giants and Padres in San Diego. Austin Hedges with the diving catch and also gets that at first for the double play. Number six, in Houston the Orioles are up to bat, a hard ground ball to the third baseman and he makes a great throw for the uh, out at first. And Detroit and the shortstop makes a leaping catch for the out, a spectacular catch. Number four, now in Miami, the infield moves in, and the second baseman gets the runner at home for the out. Number three, at number th number three at Fenway Park, and the right fielder makes a great grab, leaping forward for the catch. 
Number two, here's another great outfield play for the Cubs. The center fielder grabs with a leaping grab. Number one, the Twins in Baltimore. The left fielder with a trick catch. It hits off his glove. It gives. It goes. It hits off his glove, and it goes into his bare hand for the catch. Thank you for watching. I'm Reese Angelos reporting for the YTN. Back to you guys in the studios. How about those plays? Great job, Reese. Reese, we all know you love baseball. I can't wait for the All-Star Game and, of course, the World Series. Another great event happening this summer is the something and the U.S. opening. Open. That's right. And, yes, we're talking about tennis. Let's go to Kayla and Sophia as they get caught up with some Eagle tennis action out in the courts this morning in match play. Hi, everyone. I'm Kayla. And I'm Sophia. We're from the YTN. Filming tennis students. Let's, Let's see, see what, what they, they have, have to say. say. What's your favorite part about tennis? Um, probably the aspect of being on a team, but also just relying on yourself, like in singles, but also in doubles, you get like the strong team aspect and we all have to work together. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say too. And I also really like the friendships that I've built throughout my tennis life career. Definitely. Nice, okay. Are you guys planning on being on the team next year? Yes. Yes, for sure. <laughs> yes, okay. Um, um. Why did you start playing tennis? I started playing tennis because I played soccer my entire life and I was really over it. So um, I was looking for another sport and I decided to play tennis. What's your favorite part about tennis? Um, I really like um, my private coach. Um, he's like a really close family friend and I just always have fun whenever I have practice with him. What's the hardest part about playing tennis? Um, just the different levels of um, players because I might be killing it in the lower levels and then I'll meet someone who is um, like decently good and I'll get killed. Are you planning to play on the Santa Margarita High School tennis team next year? Yeah, um, I have all my PE credits so I don't actually have to but I think I'm going to do it because um, it's a nice way to make friends and um, just keep up connections with people and get them involved. Thank you Jen for doing this interview and back to you guys in the YTN studio. Of course, I'm at Wimbledon. Thanks, Kayla and Sophia. Great job on the tennis update. I want to grab a racket and start playing. That certainly sounds like fun, and fun was what the YTN Summer Sports and Entertainment Broadcasting Camp was all about this week. We hope you enjoyed our show today. I know I did, and we can't wait until next time. Until then, I'm Sophia. And I'm Skye. For the YTN, here is wishing you a great day. So long and goodbye.